Texas Governor Rick Perry loves to talk about all the jobs he's created in Texas. But it's only part of the story, and it's a bit misleading at that. The other part of the Perry job story is that nearly one in five Texans in the state where the governor uh, lives live below the poverty line, and that the poverty rate is growing faster in Texas than the national average. CNN Money's got a story that uh, Texas ranks sixth in terms of people living in poverty. Both demographic and economic factors play into the high poverty rate. More than half the people in the state are minorities. Many Texans have little education, especially in southern Texas. A lot of families live in shanty housing. No electricity, no indoor plumbing. This is 2011. Also, the poor in Texas don't get much help. The state has one of the lowest rates of spending on uh, its citizens per capita, and it has the highest share of those without health insurance. Relatively few in Texas collect food stamps, even though many more qualify for them, and receiving cash assistance is difficult. The experts say that part of the reason more people don't seek help in Texas is the mentality down there that you ought to pick yourself up by your own bootstraps. For his part, Governor Perry says creating jobs is the best way to help his citizens. And it's true that Texas has created 40% of all the jobs added in the country over the last two years, but a lot of these new jobs are low-paying ones. More than half a million workers in Texas last year were paid at or below the minimum wage of $7.25 an hour. That's just $15,000 a year for someone working full-time. Texas has the highest percentage of minimum wage workers in the country, tying Mississippi at nearly 10 percent. With jobs in the economy sure to be issue one during the campaign next year, here's the question. How much will it hurt Rick Perry that nearly one in five Texans is living in poverty? Go to CNN.com slash Cafferty file post comment on my blog or go to our post on the Situation Room's Facebook page. Wolf? Jack Cafferty's back with the Cafferty file. Jack? question this hour, Wolf, is how much is it going to hurt Governor Rick Perry of Texas that nearly one in five Texans is living in poverty? Tom in Texas writes, 20% in poverty. It looks to me like Perry's cooking the books to try to look good. Unfortunately, he apparently thinks 20% in poverty is okay. In the decade we've been subjected to him, I believe it's gotten worse. Perry seems to want to reduce the rest of the country to the 20% poverty level he's worked so hard to create here. Perry is nothing more than George W. Bush with some personality. <laughs> Laura writes, uh, you can afford to live in Texas on lower wages. That's what the New York, D.C. media don't understand. You may not have noticed, but the Bureau of Labor Statistics breaks down the unemployment by educational attainment. The unemployment rate for people with no high school diploma, 14.3%. Unemployment rate for people with a four-year college degree, 4.3%. For which group do you think jobs need to be created? The jobs needed are more of the lower-paying jobs, and Perry State, Texas, may be creating the jobs that need to be created. Jan in North Carolina writes, Rick Perry is only responsible for the poverty in one state. How much does it hurt Obama that the percentage of Americans living in poverty nationwide last year rose to the highest level since 1993? I don't think poverty levels increasing is a fight the Democrats really want to have. Shannon on Facebook writes, I doubt it will hurt Perry in the Republican primaries because they'll believe anything that he feeds to them. However, it will hurt him big time in the general election because independents like myself pay close attention to things like that. And John in Alabama, let's do the math. 20% of the population of Texas lives below the poverty line. One in four Texans has no health insurance. The entire state just burned to the ground. I think the governor of Texas might want to improve the lives of Texans before he moves on to bigger and better challenges. If you want to read more on this, go to my blog, cnn.com slash Cafferty File, or through our post on the Situation Room's Facebook page. Wolf.